fool. I know, bro. I'm excited for this one, bro. I'm good looking, fool. Yeah. Man, you already know what time it is. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'm seven, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we about to turn this motherfucker up, bro. Oh, God, yeah. nigga, we about to make this motherfucker real live. Yeah. My nigga Gary, he had the motherfucking that that talent like a motherfucker on What's me. That? I'm feeling jubilant to say this week on a moment with Louis, we got my really hard DV. And this one's monumental to me because I knew if I could get this interview, I was really doing something. It started off with just the homies, you know what I mean? And I'm a couple episodes into one of the ones that I thought was gonna take me a while to get. Because that, but that also shows to Bardini how, how real of a person he is. And it speaks to, you know what I mean? How he, when you, that Sam movement, you feel me? And we, one of us coming up to in the Southeast, you know what I mean? We all trying to see each other grind. It's all, it's about coming up in the community and staying in the community and giving back to it. Right. Yeah. So, so, how's it feel to be out, bro? You feel me? I, I know you just got out not too long ago. Oh, it feels lovely, man. Honestly, you know, blessed, you know, not stressed. Trying to make these things happen and elevate, you know, over the pool. You know what I'm saying? Really, though, you know, it's real, it feels real good, honestly. Man. I ain't going back for, for nothing. So I ain't got no heat in my universe, I ain't got no negative energy in my universe, I'm really just trying to stay positive and clear all the, the fake from around me and just cut everybody off that ain't really, you know, got the best interest in it for me, you know what I'm saying, and just mess with people that's really on the same page, that got that positive energy, that's really pushing for a good cause, you know what I'm talking about, so, it's always about moving forward and back and forth. One of my biggest fears actually is being complacent. Because once you feel you're complacent, you're stuck. You know what I mean? And you're, you're satisfied. And once you get satisfied to a certain mindset, it's like people who chase money. Okay, I got a million dollars. I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm gonna end up broke one day because I'm spending my money. You know what I mean? But if it's always about progression, you ain't never gonna go broke because you always gonna have something in your heart. That's how you progress. That's how I elevate though. I never, I'm never like satisfied to the point where I'm like, okay, this is it and I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Even if I, go major, 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 you feel me, it's, uh, I love music, man, like, I feel like this is another a way for me to express myself, for another way for my, um, for people to understand where, uh, where I come from, and not just me, people that go through the same thing as me, you know, I've been through a lot, man, it's struggles, uh, you know, uh, what do you think your biggest adversity was growing up? Um, so, bro, um, yeah, because, you know what I mean, that's what really made you you, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, I grew up right there, you know what I mean, in the brook, right there with you. you know? Yeah, uh, like, you was a little bit older, you know? Yeah, but it, like, it, it's not, it's not a... Uh, People think look at it like a bad thing, but it, it really originally wasn't supposed to be a bad thing. It was supposed to be uh, something as far as unity is bringing the community back together, you know, pushing the community to elevate, you know, and uh, you know the acronym for blood. Nah, I don't. Brotherly love overcome our depression, and then uh, you, know cool. I mean? it, you know what I mean. It, it stands for something, but if you really look at it, but it's just how it's just the misdirection and misconceptions of uh. Well, uh, the older, the older generations and gave us, you feel me, because it's a lot of people that want you to go and do this, people want you to pick up guns and go and do this, or go out here and pull up on these niggas and do this and handle this all this way, but eh, they not even doing that, you feel me, they never even did that, but they want to push this on you and, ch and, and and put this in your mind, like, you know, and finesse you pretty much, you feel me, finesse you when you're thinking that this is what it's all about and it's not, you feel me. It's, it's a community before, it's a brotherhood before anything, you feel me? And I love my community, I love all communities, I love San Diego, period. So it's not even ever just Skyline, period. You feel me? It's not just about Skyline, you know what I'm saying? It's about everybody moving together as a unit, you know? I really feel like uh, we lack communication out here. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, uh, 
I, 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 I. And you know it's no I and team, and it takes a team to even make a dream come true. You can't do it all by yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be a one-man team. It's, it's everybody working together like a machine, you feel me? And without this piece, this machine ain't gonna work properly. You know what I'm talking about? I really feel like, uh, as far as Sandy was concerned, we lack, we really, really lack on, um, uh, uplifting each other. We really lack on, um, People see that dick riding when you you trying to support one another. Exactly. And in not. reality, it's just it's like this is my bro. You know what I mean? I'm trying to put him on because I know when he get on, uh, I get to. It's a door open you know for me. Mean? But everybody don't think like that. You got people that um, you got certain people that you know that make a move and they feel like that move solidified their position. When it's like no, uh, there's plenty of people that been in this position before. Me myself, you know what I'm saying. Um, and it's easy for you to fall up under. It's easy for you to fall off. Easy if you ain't humble. You feel me? You gotta stay humble and always interact with your folks. I, I, you know. I see that as people playing checkers instead of chess. You know what I mean? Exactly. Checkers, you can move one piece at a time, maybe two. You know what I mean? If you, you know what I mean? You get lucky, you move two. But <laughs> when you play chess, it's, you know what I mean? You in your head, you in the other person's head. And you gotta think 10 steps ahead. 10 steps, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably more than that, you feel me? You should have already had your game playing down pat. And that's a, uh, that's a real con that's a real um, concept, you know, that's a, that's a real perspective that people should be living that life too, you feel me? Like chess, man, not checkers, you know? There's so many, there's so many strategic ways that we can move as a unit, but people are so prideful, I feel like, um, that uh, it's just hard for people to work with uh, certain people, you know? Certain people are scared to reach out, and you got certain people that scared for your talent to outshine their talent, you feel me? Like, I think I pretty much work with everybody in San Diego that I feel like have potential and talent, and if I haven't got to them yet, I'm getting to them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of people in position out here, though, that, that, got, the, that got the position to um, help the town get on, but they're not utilizing their tools the right way, you know? And it's like, uh, they go to show like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I get on and the people around me not on, what am I doing? You feel me? Like, what was the purpose of me grinding? You feel me? If I'm not grinding for my people, you feel me? I could never see myself getting on and my bros is not there with me or the people that helped me get here not there with me. You feel me? Like, my fans, like, my, you know, the people that actually support, you feel me? I wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to me. It wouldn't even feel right. I wouldn't even feel comfortable being around a whole bunch of strangers. You feel me? It just, you know, it goes to show how unauthentic people really are. You feel me? And, um, and it's like people be jealous of little things. You feel me? Like, support. Like, I've been grinding, I've been doing music, like you said, bro, I've been doing music for a minute, you feel me? And it's like, uh, I still haven't branched out of San Diego, you feel me? I got a lot of love here because, you know, I I, I, I stay, I am who I am, you feel me? I'm a humble person, man, I, I look out for my peoples, man, and it's not one person that can say I left them for the dead, it's not one person that can say I didn't did them faulty, it's not one person that said I went behind their back and made this happen or did this or none of that, you feel me? I walk these two feet that I step, is just, that's enough for you to know, you feel me? Wherever I go, that's dingy, you feel me? And I'm not here to falsify or try to act like something I'm not. If people feel like, oh, this is uh, this is that, and this is what you like. I don't. I never seen a person. Um, I, I didn't know one person that could tell you who you are. You feel me? Yeah. You define yourself. So if you're doing something and you expressing yourself, who am I to tell you that you're lying? Who am I to tell you that you're wrong? You feel me? For you expressing yourself. Like I'm walking with you every single day. You feel me? But you, I want you to express yourself to where you're telling on yourself. That's a form of snitching. You feel me? That's another form of snitching. If I'm telling you, like, well, how is that possible? Where did you this and that and the third? Like, that's weird to me. You feel me? I feel like uh, a lot of people just need to stay in their lane, man. And, um... Uh, you know, just worry about they self, worry about their career, and the people that's around them, supporting them, that's actually supporting them, man, because it's a lot of hate in the city, bro, and I be seeing it, man, I be seeing a lot of the hate, man, and it's, uh, I even see it from people that I was close with, you feel me, that I, I supported, did nothing but support and help push they, push they little, whatever they had going, help push, help push, help push, it never really all been about me, I've always been supportive about who I'm around, you feel me, always been able to reach out and really push, 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 I even push people more than I push myself sometimes, and that's like, and that's like a downfall of my own, because I can get out here and tell you where, where you should, where you lacking that, and put you in the right position, and then they'll be like, dang, I'm looking at myself, like, damn, well, why can't you do that for yourself, and it's like little things that I'm working on myself, like getting in position, you feel me, I, I'm not, I can't do it alone, you feel me, I need help, you feel me, that's real. And then, so, how, how was that experience like? Because in one of your songs, I remember you saying, you uh, you sat across playing chess with some people that would, would never make it home. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, lifers, man. People facing life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people that really just gave up, man, and uh, made a, a wrong decision or wasn't really, you know, playing their pieces right on that chessboard, you know. And uh, uh, I wish the best for them, though. You feel me? I wish that they stay strong and through all their little trials and tribulations that they're going through. But I mean, it's like a real situation. Like I really sat down with folks that you you will never see again. You feel me? It's really sat down with them and really chopped game with them and really got a like a, a perspective of how they think and how they see life, you feel me? And some of these people are stronger than you might think, you feel me? Some of these people, man, is smarter than like... I, man, I would think that would be the, most, the mentally strongest because you know you're going to die, you know what I mean? In, in jail, jail, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? so there's no happy ending for you. Yeah, and it's like, and they making the best of it. You feel me? It's people up in there, you know. And I try to keep them in good spirits. You feel me? I try to keep the positive vibes yeah. going. You feel me? I try to make sure that everybody's cool, even if I'm not feeling up myself. You feel me? I'm gonna make sure that you feel enough, and I'm gonna bring that negative energy towards towards you. You feel me? Or, or 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 try not to. You feel me? I know it's, I know everybody go through their own things in life. You feel me? And some people want to express it how they go through it because, you know, pride. It might be pride, or they might just be scared to express. How they really feel about certain situations so you know they hide it but um i just really feel like uh people should really just uh wake up in the morning and thank god that they still breathing you know what i'm saying really wake up in the morning and thank god for the blessings that they do have and not worry about the blessings that somebody else have you know you count somebody else's blessings you're gonna miss yours and i really feel like uh that's a, that's another that's another thing with san diego artists too man they like to play watch you feel me you know you like to play uh 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 uh, uh, tower with that with the COs in the tower. I mean, in, in prison, they want to watch over everybody, but they're not watching themselves. You feel me? You gotta watch, you gotta pay attention to your own career before you pay attention to somebody else's career. You know what I'm saying? Get out here and do the footwork, get out here and grind, put your name out there. You know what I'm saying? The same way I did, I was out here grinding. You know what I mean? I didn't get the support out of nowhere. You feel me? I didn't just pop up out of nowhere, like, oh, whoa, he's. And then people start supporting me. Now I grinded for this, man. I actually interacted with people. I actually invited people to events. I actually came out looking out for people. He's going to be out for me. You know what I'm saying? On me. And that's my bro, Travis uh, Travis Johnson, too, man. You know, uh, shout out to Travis Johnson, man, because he helped fun. He held fun in these jewelry shirts, you know what I'm saying? This is like this is like a lifestyle for a lot of us, man, you know what I'm saying? To feel good about yourself, Judy, man, you know. It's a, uh, I remember when I heard heard the song on Ju I had to look it up. I was like uh, I looked I, I looked up uh Jubilation and it was a rejoicement. You know what I mean? So I looked at it from a different perspective. Because at first it was just a word. And then once you actually look up like what it means and then I was like, damn, like like I'm jubilated today, you know what I mean? Like I'm having a wonderful day. A wonderful you know what I mean? day and I feel good about myself. You feel me? I love myself. You know I mean? It's impossible for you to love somebody else if you don't love yourself. Yeah. You feel me? That's jubilee. You feel me? It's, it's more than just uh just uh the attire. It's a feeling. You feel me? It's uh it's a lifestyle. You feel me? It's a it's a positivity, positive energy, you feel me? It's and, like what um, they say, the previous people do the ugliest things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're not jubilated on the inside. They not. They they can say they are, but at the end of the day if you're not feeling it, in your heart, like uh, how you feel your love with, with the Lord, you feel me? Exactly. You gonna feel it in your heart at the end of the day. In your soul, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I, I mean, that's crazy. I just went to church with my grandma today, man, that, and the preacher was saying that, you know, and, um, I want to also give a shout out to Jay Ism because he uh, he uh, made, he uh, designed these, uh, we didn't design them, we came up with the designs, me and Travis, uh, but uh, he uh, made these shirts, you know, he got the uh, manufacturing company little thing going, you know, so if y'all need y'all, any, anybody need clothes made or any type of the, uh, print ups on shirts, sweatpants, uh, anything of that sort, man, holler at Jay Ism, man, because he, uh, he made that happen for everybody, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know I appreciate everything that everybody do for us, man, you know, because it's a it's a real lack of uh, support out here, man. And I, I want to spread the love as much as I can, man. That's why we didn't charge nobody for the shirts. You feel me? At the video shoot, we just gave them away because we want everybody to feel juicy. We don't. It ain't about money. It ain't about being the shiniest, the wealthiest. It ain't about none of that. It's about feeling good, about giving love, homie, and about spreading that positive vibe. You feel me? So that everybody can feel good about themselves. Because everybody should feel good yeah. about themselves. You feel me? There's somebody out there right now that's taking their last breath. There's somebody out right there right now, homie, that's getting hit and about to be paralyzed for the rest of their life. There's somebody out there that's going through what much worse things than we are, man. If you're able to if you're able to communicate, if you're able to get up in the morning and stretch and you believe it, man, you should feel blessed, man. And, um, 
You shouldn't let nothing tear you down or, or put you in a negative mind state, man. Whatever demons you fight, man, you gotta you gotta you gotta know when you see the devil, man, because he'll come at you in the form of friends, family, dogs, cats, whatever. You feel me? He'll get at you in so many different ways, and you gotta recognize him when you see him and say, "Hey, man, I ain't messing with you, man. I'ma stay away from you." You know what I'm saying? Keep that positive energy going, man, for real. Okay, so and what you gonna do? You have Big June, and you know what I mean. He's the cashier. And then you coming in, you I mean you hitting your lip. So symbolically, is that representing you taking over Skyline Rap? Um, nah, I wouldn't say that because <laughs> I'm not trying to take over Skyline Rap. Uh, it's but I mean, like, you do you feel like you're the next up, like taking the throne? Uh, I don't know. That's in my that's, opinion. You, you, I mean, that's how I feel. I see. You know what I mean? Big June, he had his time, you know what I mean? I, I would like to see y'all on the song with J-Rock, you know what I mean? Wow, he is, back in the day, he did a song with, with him, and then that'd be cool, you know what I mean? That'd be a young moment. Boy. Yeah, I appreciate that, fool. Uh, I mean, that's that's the town, that's the town decision. You feel me? If the town put me in that position, I'm gonna rock that crown. You feel me? I'm not just gonna put that crown on myself and just take a position that wasn't given to me, but uh, I do appreciate that. I do feel like, you know, I put in a lot of work, and I, I do deserve a lot of, uh, uh, a lot more support than I get from you know, people front Skyline, you feel me? I really feel like it's a, uh, it's some people like want to have a competition, you feel me? It's, uh, you know, I support everybody's stuff, man. You know, there ain't no hard feelings. I really don't really pay too much attention to who don't support my stuff, really. But it's like if I know you, I grew up with you, I ever looked out for you, I ever been there for you, I expect certain things because that's what I would do for you. But it is what it is, though. You know, I'm not, I'm not really tripping off of that because, you know, the, the city support me, and uh, I got a lot of support, man, and I and I love it, man. I love all my supporters. You got support right here with us. You come in. I love y'all, man, for that, man, for real, man. Yeah. I really appreciate that. That, uh, that music video yesterday was lit. Like y'all should have pulled out if y'all did. Shout out, you come in, and then it was dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, I appreciate that. Gary does, man. Gary, man, Gary Ruff is... Hello. Shout out. <laughs> man, shout bro out ASAP, man, yeah, for real. He's a real uh, dude. You come here, another real person that we met at the Genuine, real, yeah. real genuine, man. Real genuine, really loves the work, man, you know. And only been shooting videos for five months. You feel me? Like, only been shooting videos. He ain't been shooting videos a year. And look at, look at the... Shout look, out my look, cameraman, Aaron. Look at what he's doing. doing. He's, been, he's been on his, uh, his, his for not too long, too. And the interview's coming nice. He's coming right. Right yeah, you. oh God, I've been seeing the interviews too. <laughs> they happy though, you feel me? I'm gonna always support and give props when they do, man. I, I support y'all all the way, man, 180% for real, for real. And I'm gonna see y'all excel, man. it would be like, be one of these big stations where it's not just San Diego rappers. Get an interview, excuse me. It's not just San Diego rappers. It's gonna be an interview. LA rappers, Atlanta rappers. You know, shout out to my boy Dan Diego too, man, out there in Atlanta, man, you know, because he out there doing his thing too, man. He really out there working and grinding, man. Okay, speaking of people who's out of town right now. Right. I know Eddie Mac out of town. I know you got that oh, mixtape yeah. coming up. Eddie Mac, man. Eddie Mac is full of energy potential. He's so, shout out Eddie Mac. I'm gonna get that energy when you get back. For real, we got some videos about to drop, man. Eddie Mac is like the uh man, he's like a concept genius, man. For real, for real, man, like the this the 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 subjects that he chooses, yeah. the pinpoints, points, you feel me, and just the uh the the topics, you feel me? It's like many real, real, real smart, real, real smart, and um, you can tell that he's a heartfelt. Strategic mindset, like a chess game. Yeah, mm -hmm. for real, for real, and you can t also tell that he's been through something before too, like us all, 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 all of us, you feel me? And he expressing it really, he really expressing it. He's not sugarcoating and putting a jacket over it to cover mm -hmm. it, acting like I'm just the toughest person in the world. When we all been down before, you feel me? We all been kicked and been in the dirt before, you feel me? I'm not the toughest person in the world. I don't shed tears before. I didn't cry before, I didn't hurt before. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't been I didn't been in those predicaments before. And I, you know, I, I express my music so that people could people that been through the same thing I've been through can feel better about themselves, you feel me? Because it's always a good ending when you just keep going. You feel me? You just gotta keep going, don't give up on yourself. You know what they say, man, the, the people that give up on yourself was right there. As yeah. soon as you give up on yourself, you was right there. You feel me? You would never know how far you would go if you put on yourself. You feel me? You never know how far you could get, man. You always have faith in yourself, man, the process. For real. So how many tracks you think that's gonna be? How many? Me, Eddie, man. Yeah. We like five tracks in, man. Okay. We like five tracks in for sure, for sure. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I'm gonna email y'all some stuff, man. Same. Off top. Oh, me and if we gonna come back, we gonna we gonna run through those tracks. Off yeah, top. for real, man. Uh, I really wanna call it Southeast, man, cause you know Eddie Same. back south, man. 
East side of San Diego, man, Southeast, and it's the Southeast period. You feel period. me? On me, just collaborating, making it happen, man. Uh, hey, Mac, man, yeah, shout out to the kid, man. Sure, he really sure. working, man. He really got potential, too. Talent, star talent. For sure. So, so I, I got another brother who's, uh, who's working with him also. Kelly Bo, he, we interviewed him as the first interview. And, you know I mean, could you see yourself working with him also? Kelly have you Bo. Have you checked him out? I don't think I checked him out. Not even gonna check. Right, we're gonna we're gonna send you we're gonna send you some stuff. Send me a link of me. Got gotcha. you. Send me a link. And then Okay, so I saw that your uh your tour is okay, I'm done. You know what I mean? Why why that name? Uh more so be uh I'm done with the ignorance. You feel me? Okay, okay. You feel me like uh I felt like um I was in a stage where I was just being real, real ignorant, real, real negative, real, real um Feisty, like you feel me, like really trying to like prove a point to people that I really didn't. It's unnecessary and irrelevant for me to prove a point to because you see it. You feel me? Yeah. Like people trying to drain me from my energy. People trying to come around me just because they see my potential. You feel me? But not just coming around because they actually homies and want to see me go to the next level. Not coming around because they want to see me be do better. You feel me? People just, you know, uh, opportunists. You feel me? And I, I feel like we got a lot of those people in San Diego, man. And it's a lot of older folks, man, at that, that's been doing this music or been doing this for a long time, longer than us. You feel yeah. me? And they just come around, they see this young talent, and they know that they, it's, it's young and fresh, full of energy, and they want to drain you for that. They want to come around and be a part of a movement. They want to create a movement to branch off and do their own thing. They're not even loyal to their own homies. And I feel like, man, you know, those are people that you got to watch out for and just subtract them out the mix, man. You know what I'm saying? So is is there anybody specific that you're when you when you talk about that do you think of? Uh man, uh specifically there's too many people to name, man. There's too many people to even pinpoint and I really don't even want to give them that much credit. You feel me? Sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna give them that much promotion. Cause that's free promotion right there. You feel Off me? Tops. Uh you good know pub, you good is, publicity, you know bad publicity, they want their name. Exactly, man. <laughs> that's what that's what they want. But I'm just pinpointing where I, I noticed this, you feel me, I, and I can't be fooled by none of that, you feel me, I, I might sit around and be looking like I'm dull to a lot of stuff, but I'm actually sharper than I look, I just look like this. <laughs> what was the moment you knew that you uh, you could really start doing something with rap? Uh, man, I don't know, because I, I mean, I tell you, like, I do music because I love it, you feel me, so yeah. I never really was infatuated, like, to the point where I'm like... I, like, I love my support, don't get me twisted, but it never got to my head, you feel me? Yeah. So I guess, I, I guess, uh... How do you stay that humble, though? How, for it. How, how do you stay that humble, too, though? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, they get a little bit of a following, and then it's like, it's like, bam, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, like yeah, I hear some rappers, you know what I mean? A thousand, uh, a thousand followers after famous, you feel me? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's out. That's out, man. man. You always want to spread love, man. You always want to be humble. You ain't going to have them followers forever, man. People grow. People get old. You feel yeah. me? People, you know, you can lose a, you can lose a fan a day. You feel the game a fan a day. But, uh, my God, man, it's hard, man. It's, it's hard to come from my grandma, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh... My grandma raised us like this, man, you know what I'm saying? That's all I know, to spread love, you feel me? I, I, didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have it to where I was in a household, and you know? it was just a lot of hate being spread. It was always love, you feel me? No matter if we had it or we didn't have it, you feel me? It was always love, 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 man, and that's how my grandma raised us, man, my great-grandma, my grandma, man, and, um, I really appreciate them for being hard on us like that, showing us that tough love that we needed, you feel me? Because, uh, that's what made me who I am today, you know what I'm saying? Um, really, uh, really elevated, you feel me? Really elevated me, really made me move forward, you feel me? It really made me uh, see it from a different perspective, you feel me? Like, I felt like I was grown when I was 13. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and when I, when I say grown, I mean in spirit. You know? yeah. Not physically, not, uh, you know, in spirit, man. I feel like I, uh, I know, also. Yeah. yeah, and people tell me all the time, like, man, you know, uh, old folks, man, be like, man, you know, you gotta, uh, you a young man with an old soul, man. Anybody ever tell you that? I like that I hear it all the time, man. I just love to spread love, man. That's what I, that's, you know, that's just who I am, man. That's how I was raised up. For real. So, the next segment, if you've been keeping up, is popcorn uh, questions. This is just questions where I just thought of, you know what I mean? I was just. Oh, oh, I, wonder he, I wonder what he thinks about that. So, do you use hand sanitizer? Yes. You do? Yes. I, I know I know Miss Selma not big on hand sanitizer. 
for real, for real. Nah, I do, man. I prefer, I prefer cleanliness. And I'm a, I'm a real like clean people. My grandma be like, you up in that water too long. Or my mom's like, you up in that water too long. Get up out that water. Like I be up in the water, man. I be, I'm, I'm real clean, man. Like, uh, I like nails and everything. Man, yeah, I go get my nails done, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like to be fresh, man. I like, gotcha. I like to, I like the shower make me feel jubilated. Yeah, you, know? you did. <laughs> shower make me feel jubilated, though, for real. So. Who's influenced your uh, like your raps the most? Like, ooh, I mean, to really be honest, bro, I grew up on Mac Dre, I grew up on Tupac, yeah, yeah, man, that's where the uh, you know the linguistic uh, came from. Created my own little language and um, you know, really just being being comfortable with uh, expressing uh, how I really feel, you know. Mac Dre, Tupac, E40, mainly Bay Area rappers. You feel me? My little brother from Richmond. That's where uh, my mom and them was like had us going back and forth from. Uh, my my uncle Bernard and them, and I went out there and just got just got man got tuned to that music and I just never left it. You feel me? It's just like oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the Bay Area though, man. They really got a nice sound, man. And, uh, so do so do we though. So do we. So do we. So do we. So do we. we. You know we just all slept on, man. We the West. What Don O be saying? The, the the best West kept secret. The West best kept secret. You know me, man. For real, for real, man. Hey, yeah, shout out Elway too, man. For so, real. So you. Yeah, interview with you too. And then yeah. so. Yeah, but that's where that comes from again. You know what I mean? It's that reoccurring theme of, you know what I mean? I, I'm trying to get on first, but then I'll put you on. You know what I mean? All, yeah, that's like, it's that's, like, you know what I mean? We, we, we rise as a team. Yeah, sometimes uh, if you put a position to put on first, and when I mean like that is if uh, like a label hits you and say, I just want you. Yeah. But you still got the door open for everybody else, so that means you're put in position to let that do keep that door open. It's not, you know, you know, just all I'm gonna just do is all by myself. You know, you, you, you never know who gonna, who's the next upcoming. You never know yeah. who, who could be heard more. You know, I'm, I don't. I mean, personally, I don't think I'm the best rapper in out here. Period. I, I feel like I have my own style. Now, you know, I got a real. Um, World support system, but it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of talented people out here. I mean, that's being overlooked. I really feel like uh, you know. And um, shout out to those people, man. Like keep grinding, keep working, man, because the time is coming. Uh, some people, man, uh, don't believe in themselves enough. You know, some people just too worried about other people, so they probably won't ever get there if they don't change that mindset. You feel me? They gonna stay stagnant. When I mean stagnant, just in the same position. That complacency. Yeah, you know I mean? for, for real. And for then real. you get stuck in that mindset. And it's like, I made it, but you really didn't have it made it anywhere. Exactly that, bro. Exactly that. Bro. And I, I hate how everybody wants to make it out of San Diego. Why would you want to leave San Diego, America's finest city? Like, come on now. Man, me. Just, 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 man. You know, um, making it is all about where you want to be in life. You yeah. Feel me? It's not about being on TV or being. You know, the next um, 100, on the, number one on the pop chart or hip hop rap chart or whatever. It's not even about all that or just being seen, period. It's not even about that. It's just making it, I feel like, is a it's a feeling of uh, I'm, I, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. You feel me? I didn't got to where I wanted to get. You feel me? And, uh, I'm going to keep progressing, but. Yeah, this is where I. This is where I. This is this is what I wanted to do. This is where I'm at. You feel me? Some people already made it in, in, in spirit. You feel me? Some people already made it. And, um, others, man, it's just uh, lost. Really lost. Seriously. It sucks to be lost, but you gotta find yourself. Whether find yourself. you gotta find yourself within yourself, also. You can't <laughs> find anybody else or in some money or some anything materialistic. It's all about spreading love, giving love. You know what I mean? We give and we take, but at the end of that, we just gotta spread the positivity. Yeah. Because it's about it's about how you made made. It. At the end of the day, if you're not making something better, you're making it. And then, so, what's something you stand for? When people see Hardini, what do you want them to see? Hey, um, inspiration, motivation. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like I'm an inspirer, man. I feel like I motivate people, man. You know, I feel like that's one of my gifts, man. Is to uh, you know, uh, help people find themselves, more so feel comfortable with themselves, love themselves, you feel me? Because I love myself, man. I want to spread that positive vibe, you feel me? So everybody feel jubilated, you feel me? I mean, and um, 
that's a, uh, that's something that I focus on really, 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 really tough. I and mean, that's why I kind of like changed the concept of my music. It ain't really so dumbed down as it used to be. You know, um, I'm growing too, man. I'm trying to change that message up because I don't want to be influencing people to do something that I'm not currently doing now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm in a state where I'm grinding. You know, I'm pushing for uh, a better cause. You feel me? I'm not out here doing no extra or none of that extra that these folks be talking about, man. Ain't none of y'all doing none of that. You feel me? We, we, everybody lives out here. You feel me? San Diego small. We got the lowest crime, the lowest murder rate in the United States this year. You feel me? So it's like for everybody to be rapping about all this, this and that and the third, it's like, mm, uh, it's not yeah, adding up. It's, it's not adding up. And um, I mean, some people, you know, I could, uh, I could say, you know, and actually been through some of that, you know what I'm saying? So it's okay if you're speaking about a past experience, but I'm, I feel like, man, I, I'm trying to keep it on my universe, man. I be trying to really just keep it on my universe and really just talk about what I'm going through currently, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going through it, you feel me? Even though I keep a smile on, even though, you know, I'm trying to uplift other people, I be going through little phases in life, you feel me? I'm going through little things too, for real, for real. Like, uh, like in the beginning of one of Nipsey Hussle songs, when he was saying, "A man is not defined by his uh, by so you only a man can define himself." Man. Yeah, and a man isn't defined by what's thrown at him, but the actions that he uh, he responds with. So if you're responding negatively, I didn't quote that. And if you're responding, <laughs> <laughs> if you're responding negatively to something, of course our tops is gonna be. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? We, you know what I mean? It's funky. Well, but right. if it's like, if you're trying to make sure everything's cope aesthetic, we're going to be nice and cool at the end of that. Yeah, for real, That part. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't got into it over a few people uh, based upon um, them just, they feel like uh, they should uh, have a little bit more shine than they do. Like, I got into it with this weirdo dude, like, uh, he was so upset about uh, my song doing better than his. You feel me? And he like talking like you don't, you don't, you don't even know me for one. You don't know my pedigree out here. You feel me? You ain't never dug in these streets. You feel me? I'm from the southeast, man. Like anybody from the southeast, that's my generation. No, you feel me? I was in zero tolerance for the talking, all the yip yapping, and all that. I'm getting off. You feel me? Ain't no about to be no arguments. Ain't about to be none of that. You feel me? I try to keep it up on the universe, but at the same time, I be feeling like. Uh, there be certain people that just, you know, they got used to me being, you know, so laid back, letting you know, a lot of things slide. That I'm like, man, who this dude talking to, man? And like, you talking on Facebook, I don't really do this. It's like social media uh, arguing back and forth from me. You feel me? You trying to argue with me because you feel like you need more support. Like, bro, I ain't never paid for no views. I ain't never paid for no followers. I ain't never paid for none of that. You feel me? Everything I got is authentic. You feel me? Straight original, organic, from the soil. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's why I made the song Soil too, you feel me? Not just as far as I'm going through something with my friends, yeah. but this is who I am, you feel me? Like, this is who I really am, real life you feel me? It's a real life situation that this is me, this is how I'm responding to it. You feel me? I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a taste of my life, you know what I mean? I can't really speak on what I, I really don't have. Exactly. Like, exactly. People exactly. like talking about the Lambos, but they ain't even touch the uh, damn car, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Talking about all types of stuff, man. I ain't never had a hand out of my life, bro. Like, I don't, I ain't never had no pops come and give me nothing. I, my dad, I see, I see my dad like probably like once every five years. You feel me? And I'm really, I'm not saying nothing bad about you. Yeah, I just been, you feel me? I've been, I've been with my mom since day one. You feel me? You know, I'm riding with you. Yeah, you know, but, um, I ain't, I ain't had any them kind of handouts, bro. Like, I ain't no. $10, $10,000 investments, no, everything I got and I grinded for it, man, I, 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 I really grinded for all this, you feel me, I really made this happen myself, I spent money, money going to these studios, all these songs ain't free, you feel me, people ain't just giving me free studio time, you feel me, like, people ain't just telling you come over here and do this free, like, pushing out CDs free, making clothes free, like, nobody's doing none of that, you feel me, but, I, I can say that I really grinded for everything that I got, you feel me? I, I, without no handouts, without trying to reach out or mooch off the next person or none of that, you feel me? Without features. Like, I feel like people look to pay for features and look to pay for certain things to get on 
and that's like a handout lightweight to a fan base. You feel me? If you paying this dude for a feature, for a fan, why wouldn't he rock with you because he see potential in you? You feel me? I'm not. That's you feel me? Like it's understandable, and it's a marketing business. It's understandable. Like okay, I'm gonna I got a fan base. I'm gonna introduce you to a fan base. But at the same time, if you're not more talented than this person and you just paying for a feature and he's not promoting the song, like you're promoting the song, yeah. he's I not see, sharing it. Yeah, 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 like he's not sharing it. He's not doing, he's not acting. He's, he's totally like, uh, the, the song doesn't really mean nothing to me. You yeah. feel me? That's a, that's a waste of, that's a, that's a waste of money. You feel me? You want to invest in somebody that's going to help invest in you. You feel me? That means time, if it's time, if it's just a simple, you know, putting you in direction. Or putting you in position or something, you feel me? Like, nah, I'm not with the all that. That's why I never really try to like pay for no feature for no man artists like that. Like, uh, I pretty much can so because then the songs the eventually folks. get bigger than you, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I see that in a lot of people who are big right now. The, so the song becomes bigger than the artist itself, yeah. And once, it, once that happens, you expect a certain thing from that artist, and then now you're expecting it, and you you call it around the mid range, yeah. You don't see it like. Uh, you trying to shoot three pointers with that mid range shot. You feel me? It ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. You know, people just go, um, man, people don't humble themselves and get to where they, uh, uh, and link back to where they roots is. You feel me? They original people, man. They gonna fall off by the wayside, man. You know, uh, you can't do it by yourself, man. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Me and D-Bar, man, was just having this conversation, man. Because me and him working on a uh, new music set, Kyle Sheen, Volume 2. Okay. It's like, uh... Shout out. Watch out for that. Kyle Sheen, Volume yeah, 2. Yeah, that's going to be crazy, fool. That's going to be super crazy. But we working on that right now. Because I feel like, man, I... I remember the first one. That's... I hate that one. Yeah. I feel like, I'm going to throw up. That's when I was producing all my beats, man. I feel like that's my sound. Uh, oh, God. You feel me? Shout out. Shout out to DBT too, man. Shout out to DBT too. Real, real, real genuine dude. Real genuine dude. You know? Real, real. Really, who you say he is, man. Not with the extra or all that. Bragging about nothing that he don't got or nothing like that, man. He's real, real genuine. You know, he might be a little shy, man, but he's real genuine, real dude. You feel me, my man? Yeah, shout out my bro Keith Warren, man. That Nick Knox, man. You know, they out here making them slappers, little Ani. Shout out to producers. We got Ani coming up soon. Shout out to family. We're going to have him on a song. <laughs> yeah, shout out the producers, man, because they will be out here making noise, man. Shout out the videographers, too, man, because they really, really behind the scenes making, they the ones that's like, uh, they're the artists, man. They're the real artists, man. When you put in that, when you got that camera, that's that paintbrush, Picasso, man. So you paint this picture. And you gotta make it look real good, you feel me? So shout out to the videographer. Shout out man. my boy Aaron and shout out Gary from yesterday being real 100, you feel me? Yeah, for sure, So for sure. Be before we end it, when's you, when are you gonna start your tour? Um, next year, July. We're gonna do a summer, we're gonna do a summer tour of all 20 cities. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get more than that, but that's just right now, you feel me? What city are you, uh, you most excited for outside of Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. 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 Atlanta yeah. so much, it's so lovely out there, it's so fun, it's so much <laughs> love, man, for real, for real, bro, in New York City, man, New York City, man, and shout out to Pudizzi, too, bro, I really wanted to give a special shout out to bro, because, uh, man, he really, that's really one of, like, the most genuine people I ever met, man, he always been behind me with my music, fool, like, <laughs> he don't even notice that, because he don't, he ain't, he ain't trying to take credit for nothing, you feel me? But he always been behind me for my music, fool. It's like, man, I really appreciate that, bro. And I really want to tell you that I really appreciate that. Even though I tell you the time, I really want to tell you that, though, fool. I appreciate that. That's a real, that's a real, that's a real me right there. Oh, God, for me. For me, man. You know, shout out to my fools out there in L.A., man. My fool, Ice Diddy Bop. You know what I'm saying? BPL, man, BPS, man. My, um, my boy from Inglewood, uh, Doughboy, man. You know, shout out to him, man. You know what I'm saying? All my folks is at CRC, man. You know what I'm saying? That I left, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, man. I wish the best for y'all. For real, for real. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out all my brothers. Keep pushing me through. My boy Aaron, KG, Dallas. Definitely, shout sh hey, hey, bro. Definitely shout out y'all, though, fool. Seth. Definitely shout out y'all because I feel like right now what y'all doing is uh, it's not only creative, it's not only bold, it's not only new. 
it's it's super super unique in so many different ways. You feel me? Like, and I feel like this is something that the city is lacking on. You feel me? Uh, just these, this, 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 this perspective of music, because this is part of music. This is part of the industry that we created for ourselves. You feel me? Well, back in the days, we didn't really have that much support in San Diego. Most people wasn't listening to Diego rappers like that. I mean, yeah, you gotta, you gotta look at it like this because. Like oh yeah, the, another influence, fool, Mac Fly, fool, like Mac Fly, man, like that was like, man, that was like the first Blacklisted was like the first Dago group that I heard really, 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 really have support. You feel me? That sh I felt like should have made it, and that's why I want to break that cycle. You feel me? Because I know that they went through something. You feel me? And it was, and it, and it had to be something that they only they can understand right now. You know, they can't even put out there, and it's weird. Just like me and my dudes, me and my fools went through. You feel me? We went through some weird, 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 weird. Now I still man wish the best for everybody. You feel me? Like man, I even wish the best for the people that did me wrong. You feel me? Knowing in in their heart that I would never do the same. You feel me? I still wish the best for them, man. But shout out Mac Fly, Marcus Sharp, though. Ooh, shout them out too, man. For real, because they really made a lot happen for the J. They really was like the peak of this industry for Dago, uh, man. For real, like they really should have been. D Moss, uh, even, um, uh, what's, uh, what's her boy name, man? Uh, shout out, uh, Lil' Five, shout out SP, shout out Skywalker, Baby Slay, all them little cats. I see y'all working today, just, I'm just focused on my side of the town. I, mean, I see y'all working too, I mean, and I like, man, I, I really love to see the city grow, man. I really love to see the city grow, man. And it's, it's an epic little feeling. I need to just watch so all different sides of the city have their own different style, their own demeanor, their own lingo. You feel me? And it's epic. You feel me? It's epic to me. You feel me? I've always been a congratulator, never been a hater, man. And that's one of that's. That's what makes you jewelry, man. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. And then watch out. Uh, so, also shout out my brother Nick. Shout out to Bicep, who we have coming up. Oni and Clueless, Clueless Michael, who part of Enlightened. We'll have the group eventually. And right now, the song is so bad, but it's going to be changed to West Side. So, so look it up under both aliases. And... Man, I just feel jubilated to get this ring, bro. Man, I appreciate that, fool. You was already jubilated, man. I appreciate y'all coming and reaching out, fool. Cause uh, what y'all doing is real, real, man. It's real big for the city, fool. Shout out to you, also. Man. Yeah, shout out to man behind the camera too, man. You know what I'm saying? You know he copied my hairstyle. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, feel me on God, though, man. It's all love, man. Shout out KG too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all love for y'all. Know, I'm rocking y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, make sure y'all don't copy y'all some Juvie T's, man. You know what I'm saying? Go pop. Yeah, dig. You know what I'm saying? We got white, black. We got the I'm too smack. You know what I'm saying? We got all that. Yeah, you know what I'm too smack unless you really do smack. You can't get out of smack unless you really smack up your yours. I mean. Yeah, man, yeah. I appreciate y'all, fool. Yeah. yeah, that was hot shit. Hey, bro, we're gonna tap in with you. Let, uh, let me know when you're trying to uh, sit through those, uh, those traps. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna send them through on, on Yeez. Oh, I'm gonna send them through. Sir, you want me to send you my email? Send me, just send me an email. Sir. All right, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. I'm sure. tired. I'm about to <laughs> get up.